I bet there are a lot of people out there watching this video who will have some sort of reaction when I say two simple words. Peak design. I mean, this is a company that is basically synonymous with creators and cameras and photography and videography. I mean, you can't even go to a video on YouTube about a camera and not see one of these iconic little tabs on their cameras. And I've done plenty of videos on their other items, which happen to be so practical that they go beyond even just being camera-centric items. Things like their sling bags, for example. And then of course, there's their fantastic tripod, which I've not only done a video of, I do pretty much all of my videos with. So when Peak Design reached out and said, hey, we want you to check out our new products that are going to be part of our new Kickstarter campaign, I was super happy to hear from them and I want to give them a quick thanks for sponsoring this video where I give you an overview of the new mobile ecosystem. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? Here is a look at and a small vlog with the new items part of the Peak Design mobile ecosystem. Before I get started, a quick note that all of the items that are in this video are pre-production units, and they might change slightly by the time the Kickstarter ends and you actually get the final retail units. Okay, so to give you a quick overview of some of the items in the mobile ecosystem by Peak Design, we have to take a look at the item that is at the center of it all, your smartphone. More specifically, the case for this iPhone 11 Pro in particular. Now, there are going to be other cases uh, that are available for other popular smartphones, but there is actually another solution if you have a smartphone that is not supported with a specific case. More on that in a little bit. The case itself is really nice. The sides are nice and flat. It doesn't add that much thickness at all to the phone, in this case, the iPhone 11 Pro. And the backing is made of the same fabric that you would find on their sling bags and backpacks. And then you see that one square right in the middle. And that's where the fun begins. Around this square is an array of magnets, which will magnetically put this phone into various mounts that are created for this ecosystem. I'm gonna go ahead and just start off with the one that I know I'm gonna be using the most, and it will probably be the one that you end up using the most, and it's this right here. This is the Peak Design Mobile Tripod. As always, magnets have a certain satisfying feel to them, and of course, a satisfying sound, so. The best part about the magnetic tripod is that it folds up to itself and it doesn't add much more thickness in the area that it occupies when magnetically attached to your phone. It can be thrown into your bag as a separate tool of sorts, or you could just have it attached to your phone and it won't add any more bulk to your pocket. But of course, the whole point of a tripod is the legs and those fold out nice and easy like this. You can deploy the other two legs like this to create a tripod for your phone. The use cases for a little mount like this uh, are actually quite vast. You could just use it like a kickstand and be able to watch anything that's on the screen. But of course, when you hear the word tripod, you think of creator scenarios. And of course, you'll be able to stand up the phone on a surface like a table or something and be able to point it at your subjects and get some good footage or some stable shots uh, using this tiny little tripod. And true to Peak Design's attention to detail, you are able to move the entire mount around on this little ball head, which is tuned to just the right tension that it can have enough strength to hold up your phone. And then of course, you have a little tool, just like their actual tripod has, uh, that you can use in order to change up the tension of that ball head. And because the tension is quite strong on these legs, you can have it out like this, put the phone in landscape, and you suddenly have a nice nifty little grip for your phone. If you're going to be doing some panning shots or just want to do some handheld vlogging using your phone. And that's what I decided to do this morning because I ran out of coffee beans and I figured, you know what, let me vlog a little bit of this situation and show off the next item in this mobile ecosystem. So if you're parked, I don't recommend you do video while you're driving or do anything that can distract you from the act of driving, of course. Uh, well, if you're parked like I am right now, you could get some good videos here because the ball head is actually really strong. You can get a good positioning here. And of course the phone is very securely onto the mount magnetically. Obviously because the mount is a symmetrical square, you can set it up horizontally as well. Depending on where your phone is in the car, uh, that would be a really good thing to do for things like mapping uh, and for directions and whatnot. So it's very useful that you're able to do it a couple of different ways. One quick note I want to make about the placement here, just for my own use case scenario, is that I picked this area because it was the smoothest and flattest surface that I could find that was within my peripheral view. I didn't want to put it up here because it's actually a porous material. Uh, that way the adhesive might not be able to stick on here for the long term. And by having it here, it also keeps the phone out of my actual peripheral vision when driving. And besides, the majority of the time, I'm not going to be looking at the phone screen for anything that I need like directions or to control my music because I use CarPlay or Android Auto anyway. 
One of the nice things about the mobile tripod is that you can use it like a grip. Now, you don't really get a whole lot of distance uh, by using just the little tripod legs as a bit of a grip, but it's still nice to be able to keep your hands away from the viewfinder, from the phone, get away from that like typical grip that everybody does when they're vlogging with their phones. And yeah, it's just a nice little way of vlogging or just getting some selfies, even if it's not a full-on selfie stick, it just makes things a little bit easier. since I've had a cup of coffee just sitting outside. So using the tripod here, I can get these little shots because I can angle the ball head to any angle that I need. Uh, and it's just strong enough that it's not going to fall over with the phone mounted on. Which means that one of the best parts about this whole mobile ecosystem by Peak Design is that you can use the phone in multiple places. And since the mobile tripod just sits snugly on the back magnetically, it's always at the ready for you to get vloggy shots like this or to just do things like IG stories even. Uh, you'll be able to just get some content done even if you're just, well, sitting outside having a cup of coffee. Now that we're back, let's talk about the next item in the ecosystem that I was able to try out. Well, not really though, because I'm not a cyclist and I don't even use a stationary bike, but this is the bike mount uh, in mobile by Peak Design. Now this bike mount can attach to your bike, your handlebars, uh, and it's going to put your phone uh, in view, easily accessible when you're riding. The thing I wanted to focus on here is the actual mounting point. This is what they call the hard lock in this system. Basically you still have the magnetic connection so that it's easy to just snap the phone onto the mount itself, but then there are these little physical bits that will actually latch into the mobile case, making it even more secure, and you can only take it off once you hit those levers on the sides. For those of you out there that are very avid cyclists, I'm sure that this is going to be a great solution for having your phone latched onto your bike. I mean, this, this mount, this hard lock is really sturdy. Now, as much as I am a fan of my iPhone 11 Pro, I do have plenty of Android smartphones and I wanted to be able to use this entire ecosystem on something like a Pixel 5 or a Pixel 4a. I imagine cases for these phones are in the works, but there is another solution and it is called the universal adapter. The execution is pretty simple. You have the same general design cues and of course the same mounting system uh, on this little square that you adhere to either your phone or onto a case that you're using with that phone. Putting this adapter on another case made perfect sense because it actually means that you can use these tools to enhance yet other tools. You can see here that I'm using my Pixel 4a with a moment case, and then I can put this universal adapter on here and it is able to latch on the mobile tripod. This just means that I can do something like have the mobile tripod standing up my phone and then attach a wide angle lens to the single camera of the Pixel 4a, making this a robust system using extra tools to just open up the possibilities. But there are a couple of things to keep in mind. The 3M adhesive that Peak Design is using here is very strong, but you still want to use it on as smooth a surface as possible. Anything porous and it might not be as strong as it can be. The other thing is, uh, for the Pixel 4a in particular, I saw that I would not be able to put it dead center on the phone because of the fingerprint reader. It'll be a little bit lower on the body, making the mobile tripod protrude from the bottom just a little bit. But then again, I can just take the mobile tripod off and like I said earlier, have it in another pocket in my bag or even just have it in my pocket as a separate tool. But as a proof of concept, I threw a wide angle lens on there, I latched it onto the mobile tripod and it was strong enough to handle the weight of the Pixel 4a with that wide angle lens. And I got a time lapse because I'm able to stand it up on the table in my backyard and get a nice little look at this time lapse of the sunset. Now, can you put the universal adapter straight up on your phone? Yes, but uh, it's up to you whether or not you want to have that semi-permanent thing on your phone. Um, I would say try to get a case, that way you can take the whole case off if you want to use some sort of other accessory or something like that. Because if you're like me and you put it on your Pixel 5, this means that I have to get some dental floss, put in all of the work to get this mount off if I decide to put something else on my Pixel 5. Granted, I'm happy to have the universal adapter on my Pixel 5 because this is one of my uh, everyday phones that I want to be able to use as much as possible, and of course that includes across this entire ecosystem. 
The final item I was able to try out is the wall mount. Sounds simple and actually is really simple. Take a look at this, it's just this little square that you can just put on your wall, thus the magnets allow your phone to be mounted on that wall. Any keen eyes out there might notice I already have one right here. I actually call this the designated TikTok area. Just like they say with the car mount, you want to have your phone attached to it and then move it around so you know exactly where the phone is going to be, how it will be oriented, and in this case, how I'm going to look in the subsequent vertical video that I'm looking to film. Once I found the sweet spot, it was just a matter of using the 3M adhesive to put the mount on the wall and holding it there for a while so that it would stick real good. This obviously is a very specific use case scenario for the wall mount, uh, but if you are a TikToker and you just want to have one very specific place where you can easily put your phone and hit record, I mean, this makes a lot of sense to me. And there we go, I have myself a little TikTok area, or just vertical video area. I do have a TikTok, but I don't have any content on it yet. Uh, that said, this was made possible by the Peak Design Mobile wall mount. Really easy for me to just have my phone and just, bam, magnetically put it onto the wall so that I can record something or honestly rant about something. Maybe that's what's gonna happen. Maybe that's what my TikTok will be all about. But of course, the wall mount is also useful for plenty of other scenarios. Like if you're in the kitchen, you have a place to put your phone so that you can look at things like your recipes and whatnot, scroll through them while you're cooking. Ultimately though, these items alone do show you that in multiple scenarios in your life, you can have your smartphone easily mounted and easily placed in this ecosystem called mobile by Peak Design. Personally, they already had me with the mobile tripod. Having little tools like this is always a big deal for a creator like myself that might use a smartphone for content creation from time to time. What I showed you in this video are just a few items in an entire ecosystem that Peak Design will continue rolling out, which will include other items like charging stands and a mobile wallet that also doubles as a kickstand, and an even further tool for creators in the Mobile Creator Toolkit. And honestly, with all of the different items that I have used from Peak Design that have proven incredibly practical and useful for my everyday life, not just my creator life, I wouldn't be surprised if you felt the same way about this mobile-centric ecosystem that they have just created and is live on Kickstarter now. If you want to check out the Kickstarter and learn more about mobile by Peak Design, hit the links in the description down below. And let me know what you think about the items you saw in this video and if you are stoked for this mobile by Peak Design. Once again, I want to thank Peak Design for letting me try out the pre-production units. It's been a blast trying these things out and also for sponsoring this video. Let me know what you think of mobile by Peak Design by getting into the comment sections down below. At the very least, drop some likes on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You'll probably be seeing these featured more on my channel as I use them across plenty of other smartphones. So subscribe to my channel to look forward to all of that. With all of that said, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other and enjoy your tea, everybody.